In South Africa's remote Orange Free State, some white farmers are patrolling their fields with guns. They're on edge following a recent spate of attacks claimed by black militants. Martin C. Mungle has more. Gene Fisser farms for a living but he carries a rifle when he works. And these days, his farm hand is a South African policeman. The policeman has been placed here for protection. White farms along the border with Lesotho have been attacked at least three times by blacks. A radical group called the Azanian People's Liberation Army has always claimed responsibility. They want whites off what they say is their land. As Fisser inspects his vandalized fence, he worries that he may be next. Not our problem, because as a farmer, you want to walk and go all over on your farm, but now you are limited. You've got to stay around the house, and if you move this way, you've got to bring this man with, or if you come by yourself, you've got to bring this man with. The windows of his house are protected by sheets of metal, a guard against grenades and firebombs. I'm not happy about this whatsoever, but to live, sometimes you've got to do drastic changes. In one attack on the nearby Pretorius farm, a 14-year-old girl was killed. The Nell family knew the victim. The murder has shaken the white community. It's killing you when you think of that, because it's a person just like us, and suddenly such a thing happens, and you, then you realize that, that it's real. It's, it's a person's life. They are terrorists, basically. They operate, such as all terrorists do, they want to drive fear into people, drive you away from your house, put fear into all white people in South Africa. But the police and the army are fighting back. Motorcycles and horses now patrol some sections of the border. Paratroopers have been dropped into more remote areas. This isolated stretch of border between South Africa and Lesotho has caught the attention of the country just as South Africa's politicians are working to bridge racial divisions. While the police and the army are determined to prove the attacks are isolated cases, right-wing whites, who believe apartheid should never have been abolished, are preparing for war. An eye for an eye that we fled to. Already, there have been incidents of vengeance, and there are fears that it could get worse if the right wing starts shooting. Somebody's going to stand up and say, how many more white lives? must we live, lose. And then somebody's got to jump, going to jump in, and then it's going to be all hell, basically. The ANC has That's condemned on. the attacks, uh, but the Azanian People's Liberation Army says it will continue its campaign of violence. White farmers, meanwhile, are preparing for the worst and teaching their children to shoot to kill. Martin Simungo, CBC News, on the South Africa-Lesotho border.